Hello and welcome. My name is Jeffrey Kennedy and welcome back to another episode of Elliott Wave Junctures. What we're going to be looking at today with respect to price charts in the wave principle is a running triangle. What's the difference between a running triangle and say a garden variety contracting triangle? Very simple. Wave B of a running triangle ends beyond the origin of wave A. We have an example here in McDonald's on the 240 meter price chart of a running triangle. Uh, we also have another example right here in this issue. This is the Ultimate Software Group, ticker symbol ULTI. And then we also have another example of a running triangle in FFIV, F5 networks. In each example, wave B ends beyond the origin of wave A. So these are all, each of these are running triangles. Okay. Now, with respect to a triangle, there's a few things to remember. Number one, they can only form by themselves in the wave 4, wave B, or wave X wave positions. That being the case, triangles always precede the final move within a sequence. This is why you find triangles in wave 4, because the final move of that sequence, i.e. an impulse wave, is going to be wave 5. Or a triangle wave B or a triangle wave X. Wave B, triangle, the final move of that sequence is going to be the wave C to the downside. So that's number one thing to remember about triangles. The number two thing is the move following the triangle, the resolution of the triangle, which is referred to as a triangle thrust, that is to either typically small or very large. Rarely is there a medium type move. For example, if we take a look at the ULTI, the move following the triangle was very small, very muted. We almost didn't even get back above the extreme of wave B here. Where if you look at the running triangle which formed an FFIV, well, as you can see, prices pushed up very, very high following that triangle. So again, with respect to the resolution or the thrust following the triangle, it's either very small or very large. Very, t t very rarely do you ever find a medium type price move following a triangle. Now with respect to trading triangles or the trading style, if you're very aggressive, of course, you want to try and capture the wave E pullback, okay? Because that would give you maximum uh, maximum profit potential in these, in these instances, since they're uh, bullish triangles here. Uh, so it, most everybody wants to try and capture the, these wave E's here. Okay, well, if that's the case, that's not my trading, trading style because it is aggressive. Um, when you do this, most people have a tendency to want to put a protective stop at the extreme of wave C. I do not recommend that. <clears throat> I actually recommend putting the, the stop at the extreme of wave A because of stop running moves. A lot of times what you'll see is the market spike below the wave C extreme, run the stops, and then you'll see a move back to the upside. And that's what I don't like to see. <clears throat> okay. Now, with respect to probabilities, though, and one thing that I like to look for, or which is, a, uh, I think, a safer bet, yes, it does decrease the profit potential, but it increases the probability of a su successful trade. And I'm more than happy to, uh, say, uh, exchange upside potential for increased probability of a successful trade, and that would be the, throw, uh, the throwback in this instance, because the larger trend is up. And what I'm referring to, notice here how prices break above the BD trend line, and then come back down and we see a test of it. That's referred to as a throwback. And actually, here you had two throwbacks. You had a very small throwback right here, and then you had another throwback right there. Okay, even if we look at the ULTI, the Ultimate Software Group, notice we have the break of the uh, BD trend line and then a small pull of throwback right there. Okay, I think that's a high probability trade setup. And also, too, with FFIV, again, notice the break of the BD trend line and again the small minor throwback prior to the nice big move to the upside. So again, with respect to triangles, triangles are very tricky pattern, uh, tricky wave patterns. And the reason why is sometimes they can be very short in duration, sometimes they can be very lengthy in duration. In fact, you can actually see wave E of a triangle form a triangle in and of itself. So you have A, B, C, D, E of a triangle, and then wave E forms another triangle, and it just makes for an excruciating sideways market for a long, long period of time. Again, if you're, the, if you're a, an aggressive trader, and you want to try and get in early and capture that wave E pullback in this instance, don't put the stop at the extreme of wave C, put it, put it at the extreme of wave A. If you're more conservative, wait for co uh, confirming price action, what I call confirming price action. That would be a break of the BD trend line, i.e. the BD trend line right here, and then see a small counter trend move or throw back to that trend line, and that would be your opportunity to get in to ride that thrust. And again, the thrust is either small or very big. Okay, that about does it for today. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful weekend.